Hey y'all. Okay, it's me. I got more questions and it is 103 in the morning, but I'm here for y'all to do videos because I love y'all and it's been like a week or so since I did a video for y'all and so I feel like I should. My roommate's gone. I got a new roommate if I didn't say so. She's gone. She'll be here any minute though because she has um an hour before her curfew is up. So I don't know if I'm going to stop this video when she gets in here because it's going to be kind of awkward. She'll be like, why are you here talking to yourself? So I don't know if I'm gonna stop or if I'm gonna be like, now featuring my roommate. Ah! And she's gonna be like, what? But um, yeah. So I'm gonna do this video until she gets here or whatever. Um, first question. You know what? Let's just talk for a minute. How are y'all doing? Like, I want y'all talk to me. Like, interact with me. Like, tell me about what's going on. Why are you watching this video? Are you going to the Air Force? Like, what job do you want? Talk to me. Like, right. Right, go ahead and write it down there. Talk about what, um, why are you watching it? Why you wanna, why you wanna join the Air Force and, you know, whatever questions. Yeah, put more questions on there too. Write some questions. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about what's going on in life. Whatever. Tell me about your weekend. Say it's Friday night. One o'clock in, in the morning. Uh, central time. I'm used to Eastern time, but it's Central time here. So tell me what you're doing this weekend. Okay? And then ask questions so I can answer them. Like now. Okay, first question. Um, actually, the first question is, what was Beast like in a typical day in BMT? I'm going to actually wait until my roommate gets here because I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to feature her. I'm going to meet y'all. I'm going to let y'all meet her. And me and her might just do a couple of videos together since we both, we were at BMT at the same time. So, but we weren't in the same flight. She was just there while I was there, but I didn't know her till I got here. So, we can both tell you different things. So, we were in different flights and all that kind of stuff. So she can tell you her experience, my experience, whatever. So I'm going to answer the questions I can ask without her being here. First question is micro braids until graduation. Um, excuse me. Um, I would say try it. I don't know. I didn't go micro braids because obviously I have short hair. But I didn't. I went just like this. And I didn't really have any problems maintaining my hair. But also I went and... Also, I went in the um, winter. I went in the winter, so it wasn't that hot. Now, microbraids are a lot of hair, so therefore it's going to be hot. It's already like 90 degrees here today, and it's only April, and I'm in Texas still. It was 80 de 90 degrees, like 88 degrees today, and it's April. And you're going to be here, if you're leaving anytime soon, it's going to be hot. So if you have microbraids, you're going to have all the extra hair. That's going to be hot. It's going to be hot anyways, and then you're doing stuff. Like, you have PT every day. So think about that. Like you're gonna be sweating and all that kind of stuff. Even if you're just standing there, you're gonna sweat. So if your hair, if you can hold up your hair for two months with it being dirty and everything, try it. I don't know what you're gonna do if you don't like it. Like are you gonna cut it out during BMT or what are you gonna do with your hair if you don't like it or if it's not working out, you know? So I don't know if it'd be easier for you to get micros and not worry about your hair while you're in BMT or not get micros have to do your hair every day and I don't know how you know your hair process your hair you know doing your hair every day your process or whatever I have short hair usually they say it's harder to manage short hair but I did it pretty fine I just washed it air dried it and woke up and um unwrapped it and I was fine but um yeah micros I'm gonna make here I think yep get to me her Hello. What's up? Hello. Okay, so I have some awkward to tell you. Not awkward, but it's kind of weird right now because you're thinking crazy. So I make YouTube videos, right? Yeah. And so I just told them that you're going to talk on this video and that you're the special guest. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you are. They're not on here right now. I'm recording, but you should just like talk to them because they ask me questions all the time and then I answer BMT questions. We're talking about BMT. Are you talking about BMT? Yeah, because somebody asked me, it was like, can you tell me a typical BMT day and tell me about Beast Week? And so I was like, well, I'm going to my roommate gets here. Because I was like, you, I, I told them, I was like, she's going to walk in here any minute. It's going to be awkward because I'm in here talking to the computer. And I was like, well, since she's been in BMT to make it less awkward, then we could just talk about it together. Okay. He's weird. Huh? He's weird. He's weird. He's funny. Like, you know, like, I'm still recording, just let you know. Oh. So you should come talk to them. I don't know what I want to talk about. It's just the recording. This is my roommate, Johnson. No. Oh, hi. So 
couch. She's on the couch or on my bed. Um, I know it's awkward, but I was thought it would be fun. I'm not giving my fault. Great. But I thought it would be fun because before I joined BMT, I was like looking at YouTube and I was like, I want to see videos. So, a typical BMT day. You wake up at four, four forty-five. I thought it was four. I think we woke up at well, four forty-five. You're, you're supposed to wake up at four forty-five. Y'all woke up at four. Some people did. They did too. Yeah, and mine. I was like, do not wake me up. So you're up at four forty-five. You go down to Reveille. Yeah. Which, if you go in the winter, it is freaking cold, freezing. And if you go in the summer, not too bad, I guess. You have to put all your clothes on in like 0.5 seconds, run yeah, downstairs, they, stay the Airman's Creed, whatever. And then you run upstairs, but there's like 50 billion people trying to get up the stairs, so it's pretty weird. Yep. All the guys are you pushing you fall. over. Yeah. Yeah, the guys that knock us over. Then you go the make your, yeah, you go make, you your make bed. your bed. Hospital corners, and they better be right and tight. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, we got a couple beds. We didn't get them flipped, but. You get them. Um, They'll um, mess them up and yell at yeah. you. And you're gonna get them wrong like the whole time you're there. We did. Like it always took us forever until like fourth or fifth week maybe. And then just a long time. Um, details. You have to clean the details. dorms. Then you went to breakfast. Did you, sometimes we went to breakfast before details. I think maybe. Uh, it depends on what not time really. you get. Like they schedule you for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, be sure do not make eye contact with anybody. Never. Don't do not talk. Anyone. Do not drop anything. Just become a mute. Just do everything you're supposed mm -hmm. to do and don't say anything. Don't look at anybody. Just be a robot. Just mm -hmm. do just what to do. So you go to breakfast. You have 10 minutes. But don't to look eat. scared. Yeah, they, don't, they can see yeah. you looking scared and then they pick you out and then it's all bad from there. Yep. Then you go to breakfast and you have 10 minutes to sit down, eat, and get out. 10 mm -hmm. minutes to so just learn how to eat fast. You have to drink two full cups of water. And one That's Gatorade. Y'all had three drinks? Yeah. We, we only three. had two waters. You could have two waters. You could have a water and a Gatorade, water and a milk, but you had to have at least one full cup of water. Oh, uh, we had three that we had to have. Oh, I would have. I was struggling with two. Yeah. And after breakfast, you either, if you have like an early breakfast, then you go finish your details, yeah. and you go back to your dorm, and it depends on which week you're in. Because you can either be scheduled to go to class or you to the obstacle course or uh -huh, we didn't go to obstacle course. I love it, it was fun. I didn't uh, want to go. Or you go to Cadam or Sea Burning. Yeah, Sea Burning. I threw up. Yeah. It wasn't a good day. It was a good day. Not, it wasn't that, that bad. bad. Yeah, it's not that it's bad. bad. I was terrified and I was fine. Get used to MREs. They're kinda good. I like them. Ch get the chicken fajitas. Mm, I like the chicken in the soup. Everybody likes the maple sausage, but I wasn't a huge oh, I never fan. Tried that. It was okay, but it was packaged meat that never expires, so. <laughs> it was pretty good. I mean, yeah. it was okay for breakfast. I don't know, you end up figuring out which ones have candy, too. And then y'all mm -hmm. start trading and stuff. Um, All the muffin tops are pretty good. I like the muffin tops. Buy your own canteen and yeah. hide the one that they gave you in your security drawer because. I threw mine away. Uh, it's pretty nasty, the ones they give you. Yeah, I was disgusted. I don't even drink after my own mother, and I get there and they hand me this canteen that some other person had before I got there. It's all dirty, and I was disgusted. I, I uh, bought a new one. Yeah. But honestly, BMT is not that bad. It's not. BMT is not even hard. I had fun. I would go back. I would not. You're crazy. <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't that bad, though. It wasn't bad enough where I... I don't know. Like you I wouldn't do, mind. You do cry the first couple of days. I cry the first Maybe two the weeks. Maybe the weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're just homesick and you're like, all you're out of your are environment. yelling at me and you don't know what's going on. But by like third, fourth week, you start to get used to it and you become stronger like, as a person and you do stuff on your own. Yeah. And, and you, I wouldn't say you never, you ever get over your homesickness, but you learn to deal with it. Like mm -hmm. you don't cry anymore. You still want to call your parents, but you're like, you're okay. That first phone call, everybody in there is going to cry. Yeah. Everybody's face is going to be all red and swollen. Guys, guys, don't worry about crying in front of other guys. Y'all will fall like babies when you yeah. hear your mom on the phone. That's what my brother flight did. Yeah, they all cried. Yeah. And then they all walked out and were like, <laughs> I'm good. We're good. I'm good. We're back. But yeah, okay. We should get back. So then after, I don't know, but throughout the day, then you have like class. 
where you learn warrior stuff, where you learn Air Force stuff, stuff that's going to happen in your career, or how to manage your money, or suicide. Please don't fall. <laughs> suicide. Um, what else do we learn about? Rape. They always talk about rape and sexual assault. Um, all that kind of stuff. Then you go to lunch. Then you have like PT or something. It depends. Every day is something different, but every day is something the same, if that makes sense. Like every day you're going to have breakfast. Every day you're going to have to do details. Every day you have to go do Reveille. Every day you have PT. Every day you go, not every day you have class, but most days you have class. Every day you're going to get yelled at. Every day you're going to march. Every day you're going to wonder why you're there. Wonder if you should have ever joined the Air Force. Every day you're going to think this stuff. But it gets better. Look at me. I'm here at tech school with freaking white and yellow sheets. Having an okay time. Went to Target and bought this huge hat today. Ah, cute, right? I love it. So, um, I don't know where Johnson went. But I'm going to get back to my hair question. Like I said, if you want to wear braids, wear braids. Um, I just don't know how they're going to hold up for you. Um, Stick on these two uniforms and dark them. Oh, yeah. Put two uniforms. You get four. That's eight. You get four um, ABUs, which are your uniforms. I don't know what they stand for. What's ABU stand for? Airman Battle Uniform. There you go. Airman Battle Uniform. Put two of them in dry cleaning so you always have them. And then you just, you're just going to wear two uniforms. It sounds disgusting, but it's really not. It's, I mean, yeah, you wear it every day, but it's a uniform. It's not like, I don't know. Just change your drawers. Change your underwear. Don't wear the same underwear. Just wear new, wear the same under. I mean, the same ABUs. Um, Beast Week. Oh, yeah, you sit in class all day. You don't get dirty. I mean, you get dirty like obstacle course day or um, what was it? Gas chamber stuff like. You don't even get dirty, but I mean, you're outside. Actually, so. I would wash your uniform for gas chamber because it. Uh, yeah, you definitely have to wash your uniform after gas chamber. Because you still have some of that tear gas stuff in your uniform. Um, Pat on you have to wash your clothes because the stuff from the bullet is on it. Yep. I don't know if you oh, can. Oh, Shake out your clothes. Shake out your clothes at Academ. Academ is the, is the uh, shooting range. Because if you have those little bullet casings or whatever, you're in trouble. You like, get, you get yeah, discharged you that. get discharged over that. So make sure you shake it out. They, they give you a time to shake it out. They say, you know, shake your clothes out. Make sure you don't have any bullets. Casings or whatever, you sort of shake it all out. Do not try to take them home for souvenirs or whatever you want to do. Um, it's yeah, it's not worth it at all, and it's not even that cool. But um, after that, after your day's done, you go back and do airman's time, where you talk to your MTI and they give you mail or whatever. Then oh, you yeah. do. Yeah, you have PT. Then you have chow, dinner, whatever you call it. Then. Then after chow. Back up. You can just do time. Yeah. Those, like, details. Which is your chores. Which you do every day. We have every time sometimes. Not every day. And you go to sleep at nine. Go to sleep at nine o'clock. Lights out at nine o'clock. And be in the bed. Because you do have night raids, which we we only have one, I think. Yeah, it was seventh week. Yeah, we only had one in seventh week. But still you need to be in the bed because a lot of people do want to sleep, like me, and people stayed up and talked and I was pissed off. Don't, so, don't piss off your yeah, do not, you have to live with these people for two months, eight and a half weeks, please learn some courtesy, because it's not fun having to live with the same people, where you go to sleep, wake up with those people, go to sleep with those people, take a shit beside those people, you're going to get very comfortable, so you should be nice. Um, don't worry about Beast, it's fun. Beast week. Justin said it's fun, I hated it. I had fun, it's not that bad. She likes that stuff. I don't. I went out and bought new lipstick today. That's what I wanted to do. She goes camping. So we're two completely different people. Me, if you like stuff like, well, I don't know. I can't say I'm not. I like to camp too, but I didn't like Beast Week. Beast Week, you go out. Depends on what uh, squad or. Uh, depends on which, um, what's it called? Zone. zone you're in. I had Reaper? I don't know. Whichever one had the nicest tints. That's what I had. Yeah, Reaper. Reaper. I had Vigilant. Yeah, so. I want to get Vigilant. I don't know. We had the nicest tints. But. 
If they won, I don't care because I just wanted to get out of there because it was the worst week of my entire life. But you go out and just stand everywhere, dirt, whatever. You're in these old tents with like like 20, 30, it's like 20 people in a tent. And every day you have to go out and hold your gun. Weapon, sorry. Say weapon. Do not call them guns. They're weapons. You have to go out, hold your weapon at low ready. They'll explain it to you. I'm not about to get up and explain it. And you just do drills all day. You do SABC, which is first aid care. You practice that all day. You practice um, mop level four. Mop level four. I hated mop level four. I don't know. Did you like mop level four? Um, I don't know anybody that loved mop level four. It wasn't too bad. It's not horrible. Just make sure your mask fits. Make right sure your mask fits. If it doesn't, you will get claustrophobic and you will start yeah. getting like really antsy. Yeah. So you wear you wear like a uniform on top of your uniform, and then you wear a mask like it's Darth like Vader. Like you're ABUs and the BDUs over. It. Yeah, so it's pretty fireman horrible. Fireman gear, that's what it is. Yes, yeah, fireman gear basically, and then you have a gas mask on. You do that all day. You do um, what's it called when they do the halt? Who goes there? Uh, that is best. Best. That's what you did. You go halt. Who goes there? You do all this stuff. You practice that, and you practice like identifying bombs, and you practice going into a um, hardened shelter. Shelter. You do that all day, every day for five days. Then you go walking through the woods, and you go to um like a fake. I'm a brain fart. So you have a gun, and you go into a fake scenario where you have to find the gun, and there's these guys like acting as terrorists and they're trying to like throw bombs at you and kill you and you have to like stay alive and find the person you're looking for I don't know I didn't like it but it, I mean it's fun if you're like that if you're adventurous and you like to go outside and you want to have your weapon and stuff you like it I mean it wasn't horrible looking back at it it wasn't the worst thing ever I just hated it you there were other flights oh that's just a good thing about beast you get to meet other people because for those eight weeks you're stuck with those 40 or whatever, how many girls, all day, every day. But when you go to Beast, you get to interact with other flights and meet new people. So that's fun. Our don't flight came. Stupid. Yeah, don't do anything stupid like have Beast Babies. Beast Babies are when people have sex during Beast Week and have babies. Yeah, it actually happens. Don't do that. Um, yeah, you get kicked out for that. It's pretty serious. Everything's serious in boot camp because there's so many regulations and rules because people mess up. Just weird. But yeah, that's that was Beast. Um, I don't know what else to say about Beast Week. Your MTIs aren't there, so you don't get yelled at by them. But other, you have cadres, which is like an instructor, I guess, the person looking over you while you're there. They will yell at you if you're doing something wrong, but they're not as harsh as your MTIs. Like, they're not there to discipline you like MTIs are. They're there to help you and help you learn. But just don't act like you have no home training just because you're not with your MTIs. Because they probably will still tell your MTI. They will, actually, because your MTI comes there Friday to pick you up. If he gets there, he or she gets there and find out that y'all act up, yeah, that's your ass. So... Seventh week can be fun. Yeah, it could be yeah. seventh week can be fun or bad, depending on how you act. Like you know, by seventh week you know what to do. By third week you know what to do. So. I don't study for the test. Like people say it's not that hard, but just study so you don't have to be stressed out. Yeah, that was another question I had the other day. The EOC is it's not bad. It was pretty easy to me, but then again, we had like a study guide kind of, so it's pretty easy. Um. But still study. You get a big old book when you get there. First night you get there, you get a huge study guide. So, yeah, you definitely have time to read it. BMT, honestly, is not hard. You sit around a lot. You have plenty of time to study. You have plenty of time to clip strings on your uniform. Plenty of time to roll your socks. That's you're doing. You're not, it's not hard. It's really not. Like, when you go through it, it seems hard. But it only seems hard because you don't want to be there. Because you miss your family. Because you miss everything you're used to. It's just a mental thing. Physically... Like, I know I got a lot of questions about PT. PT is not hard. I went to PT running a mile and a half in, like, 16 minutes, and I left doing it in 12. So, you'll, like, if you're not athletic, you get used to it, you'll you'll go faster. Like You run for half an hour every other day. Yeah, you run for 30 minutes every other day. So, and that that was hard for me, but you get through it. 
you learn to deal with it, you know you're going to have to do it. So you'd be like, well, one PT today, let's run. You know what every PT day is like. But when you get in further, she's trying to sit in the camera. But yeah, it's not that bad. Um, what other questions did I have? Nail color. You are only allowed to wear nail colors. Oh, you see my little deer? <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I just like to act like they're talking to me right now, even though they're not. <laughs> um. Oh, nail color. It says you're only supposed to wear a nail color that's complimentary to your skin. I'm wearing like this pink, which is kind of shiny. Nobody said anything to me, and I was wondering was it bright? Cause it's shiny, but it's not bright. It just has like a gloss on it. Wait, so it's like a. For BMT. Oh, BMT nail polish. You can't wear that at all. So don't even think about it. Don't well, even come with it on. Stop wearing makeup like two days before you go. Yeah, don't wear makeup. If you wear makeup every day, like two days before you go, just. Like, that whole weekend, you leave on a Tuesday, Friday, well, you're going to want to wear makeup that weekend. Wear, wear makeup that weekend, but when Monday comes, don't wear makeup, because you can't wear it Tuesday when you leave for BMT. So, just get used to it, and just don't wear it Monday, so you have to not wear it on Tuesday, you won't be shocked, because you're not going to be able to wear it. Um, makeup, oh, I didn't finish my nail color thing. You can wear a nail color, but it can't be outlandish from your skin color. This is pink. Which is obviously different than my skin color, but it's not like bright, bright, super pink. It's complimentary. So you can wear something like that. Um, what's the next question? Oops. Makeup. I had this question a lot. Um, you can bur I brought makeup. I brought like mascara, eyeliner. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. You can wear like light stuff. Don't wear a lot. Don't try to bring like your whole Maybelline Revlon makeup kit. Just wear basic stuff. But we got to wear ours on graduation pictures and graduation and coin ceremony, all that. Did you get to wear yours? Makeup? Mm -hmm. See, she didn't get to wear makeup. Did you wear it on your pictures? Yeah. It, would, it depends on your MTI. We had a female and she, she let us do all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'd bring it, but don't bring a lot. And don't bring anything you don't want, you don't mind losing, because you might lose something, or they might... They didn't make you throw away makeup, did they? Kind of they made us throw away a lot of stuff the first week, but... We didn't have to get rid of it, but still, don't bring... Bless you. Don't bring too much. I would just leave it in your cities. Yeah, leave it in your bag. They're going to lock it up, so you're not going to be able to, you know, get it. So, just take it, but you won't get it until, like, fourth or fifth or sixth week, when you take your pictures. And, um, yeah, Bring just... lots of sports bras and underwear and that kind of stuff. Well, nails, you can't have it, but, um, because your clothes will work kind of from the color. Yeah. And it may get lost. So. <laughs> um, cause I don't know if they can hear you, so maybe they can um, see you. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, underwear, bring bring your regular underwear, but bring I brought white. all white underwear. Go. I thought you had to bring all white underwear, and we didn't. They was like, you can wear whatever underwear, yeah. just not thongs. But I would, I would bring, like, cotton, though. Yeah, bring cotton. There's just wear granny panties. Well, I wore board shorts. I would get the ones that are easiest to fold. Oh, yeah, just fold them. I would bring a lot, because... What I did, I um, I had a lot, and I had my drawer all set up with all my with all the things, and I didn't touch those entire those things during BMT. They stayed perfectly folded, and um, yeah, that's all I did. Yeah, I had I brought all white like through the looms cotton underwear. Then I get there, my MTI was like, you don't have to wear white underwear all the time. So we went out and bought, like, I was like, Mom, send me some underwear. Send me something cute. But you still have to fold it, so just make sure. I would get, like, the little elastic, not elastic. Yeah, I guess they're, like, elastic type. Like, spandex type underwear. They're easier to fold, like, boy shorts. There's, those are easy to fold. Something like that. Bring spandex, though. Bring spandex. Black, black ones. Black. They have to be black. And make sure they're long, not the short. Kind of don't wear the booty short ones, the 
halfway down your leg ones. Not the capri ones, but the short, long, like long short ones. The running ones. Running shorts. And trainer, or not trainer bras, I always say that. Sports bras. Bring sports bras. Black or white. Can you have nude? I had nude underwear. <coughs> um, what else do you need to bring? Uh, depends on your MTL, but, or MTI, but I would bring solid black shoes. Yeah. I don't remember what girls had in my flight. If you don't have shoes, they're going to make yeah, you buy some. They're like $70. Yeah. But make sure they're, like, not crazy. Make sure they're, like, one solid color. Yep. Like, I had all black. I have black and white. And my MTI Mostly black. is fine with it. Um, next question is, did you have time for hair on the weekends? Um, it depends if you want, like, if they want to go get their hair done. Um, no. I, they let me go fifth week. I think we have pictures, so she let me go. And then they let me go eighth week before graduation. But like I said, I had a female, and everybody's different, so I don't know if everybody is going to let you go. But, yeah, if your hair is really jacked up. They're gonna make you go because you have to have your hair has to be in regs also. Um, I'm not about to go over that right now because this video is almost 30 minutes long. But if you have more questions, I'll answer them later because it's 1:30 in the morning. So, oh, yeah, tech school. Y'all probably sleep if you're in BMT. Well, I guess if you're in BMT, you're not watching. Hmm. Anyways, that's it for tonight. So, oh, phone calls do not get on the internet. Oh yeah, when you get your your fifteen minute, you need fifteen minute phone calls once a week. Do not text anybody. Do not get on Facebook. Do not do any of that stuff. Because honestly, I think they go through your phone. Because one day my phone was like, I always had my phone on vibrate, and I turned it on one day, and it was like ringing. And I was like, I never turned my ringer on. So I was like, somebody went through my phone. So I should have. So yeah, just don't do that. Nothing stupid. Anyways, that's it. Ask more questions.